What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder match. It's a rainy day here in Japan. It's been raining since the very early morning today. Not looking too nice outside, but it's always a perfect day for watching some flash on the ladder. And here he is in all his glory, purple Terran on Monty Hall in the top left hand corner. His opponent today is going to be Hyun. In the bottom right hand corner, orange Zerg. Hyun is a ASL caliber of player, though he hasn't been playing at the ASL level recently. Hasn't made it in to the group stages for some time. He's last opponent, or his last performance, his last a time being in the ASL's, I think, season 15. So it's been a while. It's been a minute since he was at that level. Looks like he's going to hop a second drone over here uh, on Monty Hall. This is probably just going to be for a scout. Wants to check and make sure that there's not uh, any proxy or anything on this side of the map. There's actually a, an SCV out here. So maybe... He's going to proxy something. Maybe Hyun can find this. That would be, that would be pretty pretty awesome uh, for Hyun. Because Hyun actually took a big loss uh, in game number one. We, uh, I'm probably not going to show it, or I'm definitely not going to show it. Uh, basically, Flash matched up against him. He flipped him over on his stomach, over his knee, smacked him on the butt, and Hyun yelled uncle immediately and tapped out it was uh it was pretty sad it was not um the caliber of game that i'm looking to display on this channel uh just throwing that out there so we're we're probably not going to show that one instead we're just going to check this game out and you know if this one's not that good i'm not gonna publish this one either but i thought i'd give it a chance uh, hyun with the rematch hopefully can bring a better game here on Monty Hall. He's already got the three bases up. He's going to be dealing with something pretty nasty though. I imagine it's going to be two port wraith. That's what it's looking like to me anyway. And yeah, two port wraith. Oh, this actually might make it to the channel boys. This is going to be fun. Two port wraith coming out of flash. You love to see it. Are we going to have a hydrogen? I think you have to go hydrogen here. I don't think you really have a choice. Because you're not gonna, with three hatch, I think this is before gas, you're never, yeah, there it is. You're never gonna be able to get a layer out in time. You could potentially get spores. That might be a thing, but I think it's more cost efficient to build a Hydra. And Hydras actually defend against the. Va uh, the vultures as well as the uh, wraiths. So that mobile defense a little bit more optimal here. Still trying to hop this vulture over. He tried like six times <laughs> just gonna get it over. I guess he's decided to give up. That's enough of that says Flash. He's just gonna let that one go. Okay, he brings the barracks over and lands it in order to get the vulture out. That's probably the the more consistent way to do that. And now that we've got some Hydras, he might be able to defend over here, but Flash is going to put on the pressure. He's going to force all of the uh, Hydras to the front. Oh, he can just slip by here. Barely. Ooh, good pulling back. Um, three hits it takes to kill with a Vulture. So pulling away those uh, drones just in the nick of time. However, they will be badly damaged and may end up falling to the wraiths that are coming across the map right now. I think you build those into buildings uh, if you're being really prudent because, yeah, they are going to get sniped immediately. That is unfortunate. Well, Hyun losing both of those drones. He doesn't have any Hydras in his main either. Immediately snipes the drone that was low HP in the main too. Three kills have already gone down, but he's going to lose a Wraith here. Not the greatest start from Flash. You do want to keep these alive. Three kills is, is nice, but keeping the Wraith count high is probably going to be more value for you. 
as time goes on you're gonna be sniping more overlords as the cloak comes in you can get fancy with the with the wraiths but now he can't yeah you know, like he's gonna take a lot longer to get to that position where he can actually start to snipe drones one or two shot I think it takes six race to kill a drone in one shot I'm not a hundred percent on that I haven't mapped that out exactly but that's about the time where it starts to feel really scary for me when I'm playing playing as Zerg and when the race start to one shot the drones then it becomes a real problem you really want to have enough uh, hydras out by that time he did get range right away so he can fight these wraiths pretty well doesn't have overlord speed yet because he doesn't have the layer yet only four wraiths here and they haven't really done too much more damage i don't think he's going to continue building wraiths for much longer as he's added on these extra barracks and he's going to start to switch into marine medic production now i'm curious about when we'll actually start lurker upgrades because uh, carapace is nice but we actually do need a lurker if we want to survive the upcoming marine medic attack is certainly going to be on the way here soon he's not taking another base i wonder if hyun is just sitting back expecting another base to come down and whether or not he'll be able to suss out the fact that we're actually not uh, you know full on into wraith play he's actually added a uh, sunken or spore colonies now this is interesting okay how many is that seven so he's one shotting with seven i'm not sure if six can one shot but definitely seven can we've learned that today uh, a lot of people a lot of people on the, the in the comments on youtube will say like why doesn't he just build spores what is the problem with these zerg players and how come they never build spores well the spore barely covers the mineral line just like that you saw he was able to get in and, and deal quite a bit of damage plus if you spend a lot of money building spores you might not be ready for a marine medic pu push like this it certainly doesn't help you against a push like this you need something else uh, to help out against these uh marines and that something else i guess is going to be sunken here but is it going to be in time lurker aspect is on the way a lot of hydras are popping out he's gonna have three sunkens almost finished as this marine medic ball comes in i think we have enough hydras here i really do this should be enough to hold everything back we don't even have range range is just about to be done so taking on these sunken colonies and hydras who that actually do have that range it might be pretty tough i want to get too feisty here with the hydras going too far out of range of these sunken colonies and taking a fight but once he has lurker he may be able to push everything back we're at 30 drones to 23 scvs a much better economy here for hyun and flash has he sacrificed too much economy to try to make this work he's actually going one base science facility with a factory i mean can we afford any of this i'm sure we can't afford all of it but how much of it can actually continue to produce maybe we can make one science vessel and one tank but we certainly can't make irradiate as well so i'm a little bit worried about this this is a great move oh man the drop coming over to the right hand side this flips everything on its head he's going to be able to do a ton of damage to these drones he should be able to kill this base as well he's going to try and break in towards the natural meanwhile oh wow lurkers running in here and just getting massacred the the uh hydra's trying to jump through this wall but the marine's just blocking all of this he will finally burrow and start to go in we have to go picture in picture right now to catch all of this action but flash is being attacked in his main base he's still doing a pretty good job picking off some hydras but this is four lurkers about to come into his main and there's nothing between uh his scv line and these lurkers they can get right up inside this uh, scv line he could target down the comsat oh he's gonna lose the overlords the overlords going down is huge if he kills the overlords the wraiths can actually clear out a lot of this he really needs to get in this mineral line with the lurkers i can't believe he's not doing that bunch of the barracks are gonna fall 
Gonna run forward now, going after the tank. Finally gonna run into the mineral line. Gotta cut off these SCVs from running away efficiently. Some of them are gonna go down. But if the science vessel comes back, he can actually clear all of this. He really gotta target down this commsat. He is going after that. Oh, is there a science vessel? Wait, where's the science vessel? Maybe there wasn't one. Oh, he's waiting on it now. Science vessel on the way here. It's gonna pop out in a moment. And then he can clear everything and the main base is gone. Hyun somehow saves the natural though. I don't know how this is still alive and why he's not producing a ton of sunken colonies here. Really feel like just, just banging out sunken colonies right now would be perfect. Uh, he's actually gonna bring lurkers back and try to take this fight. Oh my, he's gonna clear this. What an insane game we're looking at right now. He actually saves the tech aside from the hydrogen. He saves the evolution chamber and the spawning pool. So plus one armor is done. The Marines don't have attack, which is a big swing in Zerg's direction. Wraiths are gonna come over here to try and fight this, but we've still got the spores. Spores are actually gonna be pretty useful in this scenario where we don't have many Hydras left and we need to defend all of our overlords. D did get a new Hydroden over here. The race can't really do anything. One Vulture's gonna come down. He actually needs something to defend that. He doesn't even have Hydras over here. He's got some more Lurkers. Hyun is in a winning position. 15 SCVs to 33 drones. Can Flash find a way to bring this one back? It's gonna be a hard road to recovery for the ultimate weapon. Can he pull this one back into a winning position? He actually needs another CC but all he's doing right now is repairing some of his barracks and harassing with the wraiths. Overlord's speed is done. He kills the Evo chamber. Wasn't actually upgrading anything, but uh, a nice thought there. Coming back in with the vulture, nothing was left over here for Hyun, but Hyde just pop out in an opportune moment. And so he could block this. No, he's not going to. Some hide or some uh, lurkers over here are running back home. I guess these were lurkers that were in his main potentially, or maybe the, they were the ones that cleaned out the uh, Zerg main. Not too sure on that, but supply blocked and even supply for either player. A pretty reasonable tank push is coming out now. Siege mode is about to finish. Just Marines being made back at home. A few medics and one vessel is it possible could flash find a way to win this game with one base versus what was three is now just two sieging up here he's got to take it really nice and slow drop is done wait what drop play gonna come out of hyun now if this gets spotted it'll immediately die because the wraiths can easily pick that off but Seems like it might go unscouted and could make its way into the main mineral line. That would be pretty annoying for Flash, although he does have scans and some tanks back at home. He's got one tank back at home. Uh-oh, D-Matrix? Okay, no D-Matrix there. Slowly pushing forward. We don't have even a layer. Or do we have a layer? We have a layer over here, so he could eventually get into Hive, but he's still a long way away from that. 20 HP, he almost loses the all-important vessel here. Overlord will be denied. No drop into the main. This is getting to be quite the insane game. I'm not sure who's going to win this. Even supply, it should go to Zerg, but he's bleeding units. And his army is not cut out for fighting this. He's got armor, but Hydra... And Lurker is just so bad against Marine Medic with Tank backing it up. Or I guess it would be Tanks with Marine Medic backing them up. He's going to try and maybe go around this, but I don't think there's enough space. If he runs past this, I feel like he's going to get just caught completely. He's stuck in the corner. Wait a minute. Flash could come in and actually surround this. There's nothing to flank his tank army. He's pushing everything back, forcing another burrow. Is he going to push forward? He is coming up. The siege in range of these lurkers is being super careful. This is Flash's last chance to potentially win here with one base. Great D-Matrix there. He's repaired the science vessel a little bit. 
Got a few more hit points on that. He kills two more lurkers. Yen is being backed into a corner. He's just trying to buy time right now. He's got eight hydras in production at a time. Whereas Flash only has one tank and two marines making at any given moment. He's not growing very quickly and Yun is getting out of control. There's a D-Matrix on one of the frontal tanks. The Marines are going to split as best they can. He has to take this fight super efficiently and he's actually doing an amazing job. Flash standing strong with so many tanks left over. The D-Matrix is still active. Some of these tanks were so low on that HP. We've got three sunken colonies remaining. A lot of Hydras, a few Lurkers are popping. He's got a tiny bit of time before all these sunken colonies are dead and he has to pull the trigger. I guess he could abandon this. This is not a super healthy base. So maybe he just gives this up. Transfers all... Oh, why is he trans... He's transferring to the main. Okay. I mean, we can transfer down here. There's there's plenty of patches on this base. It's a fresh base. He's just going to buy time. Again, nine Hydras are coming out. Maybe, just maybe, as Flash tries to push through this entrance, he can create a big surround of army and just come in from all sides and try to crush this. But that's a lot of tanks. Again, the Hydra. Oh, he's got plus two armor now. Maybe that makes the difference. Let's see. Oh gosh, a bunch of Lurkers are going to go down right now. Two Lurkers fall. Hydras are backing up. Flash is going to push in. One more Lurker is about to finish. There's really not much more here for Hyun. He's got 600 minerals. Four more Hydras begin. Is that going to be enough? But a few of these tanks are low, but the low HP tanks are in the back. This one with eight kills. This one with 10. So many kills on these tanks. Hydras are going to come running forward here. They're not really helping to actually kill the Marines, though, which is what they're made for. Instead, hitting these tanks and the D-Matrix at the front is clutch. Once again, Hydras moving in from the rally are just going to die. There's only three Marines left, guys. This is basically a mech army at this point, but GG is called Flash somehow managing to take this game. Absolutely unbelievable. 15 SCVs. This man had 15 SCVs for that entire time. I'm not sure when the Overlord went down. Uh, the Dropper Lord that was supposed to come in here, but maybe I'll picture and picture that as well because it must have been killed at some point. It makes me wonder, guys, what would it have been potentially possible? Would it have been a better idea here for Hyun to pick up all of his uh, Hydras? Remember, he had that big Hydra Lurk army. Pick up everything in Overlords and just go around and go to just drop inside the main and just start killing everything. Or perhaps uh, dropping on top of the tanks? I don't know what he should have done different, but leave your comments down below. Kind of a crazy game. You really never see uh, games quite like this, but Monty Hall is a hell of a map. It's giving us some great and entertaining matches so far, and I hope it will continue to do so in the future. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It's another Flash video. We're going to be keeping up with this guy. So make sure to subscribe. You won't miss any of the future uploads or any of the matches of Flash on the ladder. That's it for now and I'll see you in the next one.